Hello my lovely viewers. Okay, so today I am going to um, show you guys how I do my Bantu knot out. And so this time around, usually I do it on like wet hair, but this time around I did a blowout and I'm gonna, um, yeah, twist, you know, just do it on dry hair basically. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna um, show you how ex exactly how I do it. So first of all, I did a part, as you can see. Um, this is a part that I have ma already made, and I am going to um, add some shea butter. This is some shea butter mix that I made some time ago, and I have a video on that on my channel, so you can check that out. And so, yeah, I'm going to put the shea butter on just a little bit, just to, you know, prevent it from getting really dry, because, you know, this is already, this is dry hair. Um, so, yeah, when I'm done with that, I'm going to comb that out a little bit to prevent any knots and then I'm gonna section it into two so I'm gonna look in the mirror right now and so I can see what I'm doing okay so I have two sections over here and then I'm gonna braid and I'm gonna make sure it's you know pretty tight so that the bottom doesn't become like you know too puffy you know I want it to be very clean when I take it out and hopefully when I take it out it turns out good oh my god my hair is so slippery so yeah you keep twisting till you get to the bottom and when you get to the bottom you see it gets like really puffy and if you don't comb it out and add some moisturizer it's gonna be very frizzy when you um, when you take it out the next morning so what I do is I kinda Add some moisturizer, whatever moisturizer you have. I'm using the um, Shea Butter Kintu, um, the Kintu Shea Butter um, Leave-In Conditioner. That's what I'm using right now. But whatever um, moisturizer that you use, you can do. You can use it. And I'm gonna comb it with um, a little comb, so I can get it really smooth and nice. So yeah, let me add a little bit uh, more, a little more moisturizer. So yeah, and then I'm gonna keep. Um, Twisting till I get to the bottom, and then um, when I'm done, I'm gonna start doing my bantu knot. Um, so yeah, I go like this. So yeah, I want to make sure I make a little top so it doesn't. So yeah, you wrap it around. There are a lot of um, YouTube videos about. How to um, band to knot, so that's not going to be a problem. I just want you guys to see how I do mine, you know. So yeah. So yeah, it's all wrapped around. If you can't, if you want, you can um, you can secure it with a bobby pin, but I'm not going to do that. I might do that on a few, but I'm not going to do that right now because I'm in a hurry. So yeah, this is what I have right now, and I'm not going to show you everything, me doing everything, because that's going to take a long time. So yeah. This is just a little demo of how I do it, and I'm going to finish everything, and then the next morning, I will show you guys how it turned out. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Bye. Hello, guys. So, it is the next day, and I want to show you guys how it turned out. I just want you guys to, to see how, you know, I achieved the whole thing. So, this is it. I'm going to start taking them out, and then you're going to see how it turns out, okay? So, okay, I'm going to start with this one. So you gently um, untwist it like that, like unwind it, maybe that's the perfect, the better way to say it. And then, you know, make sure the twist come out like that. And so yeah, this is the first one. I'm going to do the second one for you to see. And then I'm going to go off camera and finish the whole thing, style it, and let you guys see how it turned out, okay? Alright. So this is the first two that I've taken out, so just stay tuned and see how it turned out. In the, um, ugh. So yeah, just stay tuned. Bye. So this is my bantu knots all taken out, and then you see, as you can see, it's really bouncy. 
Yeah, I really like it and it turned out so great. I don't usually get this, so I'm so excited. But yeah, um, this is how it turned out. So I'm gonna like loosen it up a little bit and then, you know, style it. So as of now, I will just, you know, separate it like in two because I don't want to lose the curl, you know. So just separate it a little bit and then I'm gonna use my white tooth comb to, you know, do some kind of a, you know, just to um, close the gaps in between them. So yeah, I really like the result. So hope you guys stay tuned for more videos. I'm gonna I'm gonna insert pictures in the end so you can see how I style it and everything. So I thank you for watching and then keep um, stay tuned. Subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos of me styling my hair. So I can I can help you guys. Hopefully I can help you guys with some kind of um, natural hair styling ideas. So yeah, stay tuned and I will see you guys next time. Bye.